Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. Uh, I hope you're doing great and your watercolor going way, way forward. Um, so in this particular video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, how you can simplify your subject. Uh, there, are, there are a number of elements in your subject and you are overwhelmed with uh, uh, you know, the various uh, elements in your particular subject. So what is the approach you should have, how you should decide that uh, which particular area we should be focusing on and, uh, and, and that, that is something uh, in this particular subject uh, we are going to focus on. Right. So uh, before starting this I would request you to please subscribe my channel and uh, click on the bell icon so you will be getting a, a new notification whenever I upload a new video. Right. So please do that. <laughs> Right, so uh, I hope you have uh, uh, you will subscribe my channel, uh, and the, let's get into uh, the sketching part. So, as you can see, this particular reference image, uh, I just wanted to make it a very simplified version of it. There's a lot of things, right? So, what I'm doing to going to do is uh, I'm just starting from the top. I just wanted to have the upper part of this and there is a there is a one dome right and uh, there is a little curve here so those things we just wanted to ca capture but the whole idea here is you know, how you can how you can capture this entire thing uh, you know in a very simplified manner right uh, that's the that's the goal here <laughs> now see here there is a window and uh, now there is a, another level of uh, the curve wall etc etc there is a lot of I mean if you look at this you will see there are several uh, the architecture or um, I mean, I don't know what to say, uh, but uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of objects there in that structure. So we are going to simplify that, you know, in a in a in a high extent. We don't want to create anything which is pretty much complex, right? So the entire the whole idea is to how you can make this entire thing as a as a you know the simplified simplified version of this entire thing right so now this whole this structure we have just made it as this is as a front one what we are working on and uh, this building is somewhere in Mumbai um, where I have just taken this image as a reference and now the other there are some windows very beautiful architecture very beautiful design and those values coming in this building i really like it so we need to capture that right and but at the same time we want to make it a more simpler simpler version of this so this is what it is and uh, the same values here for those windows etc etc and this building is basically it's going it's just like a vanishing so it vanishes here with a certain depth so that we will define in our in our painting when we'll when we'll work on with the color Right, so that's the that's a high level of the picture we have here. There's a several uh, windows, and as I said, there's a lot of, lot of things here. I mean, if you'll go in a detailing, if you're going to detail it out, everything it'll be like uh, too much. Uh, so it's just like a, we need to bring in the impression. The many other things and uh, there are buildings etc etc though we are not going to focus on those part let's put some people here right so 
Now you see like we captured everything here. This is the sketch. And now this is the, now uh, once we are uh, okay with that. And now the important part is you'll have to see like I have not done a very high level of sketching. I have not detailed out anything. That's the most important part. Another thing you'll have to see is the paper. How I'm composing the paper. I've just kept this negative space. I just kept this here. So the but uh, we are composing the pa uh, you know, paper. So this is the quarter sheet paper, and how I'm composing those. So this whole set of things here, and we'll will work in a little bit of a vanishing, like you know, <clears throat> those buildings are pretty far away from from this main building, right? This is how we can compose. So the composing your paper is also one of the important aspect, right? <clears throat> but uh, as I said. In this particular uh, class, we are going to focus only on uh, how to how to uh, simplify this any any complex subject, right? So now we'll go our in our next uh, layer. I mean uh, the first layer of this watercolor. Um, and before before moving this, I just wanted to uh, let you know that. Uh, this entire process if you wanted to access if you wanted to learn about every end to end you can access to my patreon uh, uh, patreon membership where you will be learning entire thing what you see here what you will going to see here the glimpse of this uh, but if you wanted to access the end to end process of this and not only this we have uh, a lot many other watercolor lessons and exercise lot of uh, uh, activities uh, which I conduct in my Patreon for my Patreon members so if you wanted if you really wanted to learn in a high degree so I would request you please visit my Patreon page try to be my member it's a very minimal uh, you know membership fee start with just five dollar uh, and there are a lot of rewards and uh, things uh, which uh, which really excites you uh, which really uh, keeps you motivated so please try that and uh, this is the one of one way you can support an artist right so thank you so much and uh, let's go for our first layer i've just taken this uh, mob brush which is number four um you can just choose uh, whichever is best for you uh, so we'll start working on this we'll not work in any uh, any sort of things here in the background uh, because we just wanted to focus on this part right so what I'm just going to do is I'll take this burnt sienna. This is the burnt sienna. That's a beautiful color, and uh, mixing with a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue, and you'll be you'll be seeing like on you know, most of uh, most of my my painting, I I take this particular color, right? So yeah, I just take this and uh, and I start putting that color here on the upper part of it i see here there are and and thing is like you, know, you don't need to really worry about uh, uh, a lot of elements and uh, such thing you just need to be just just focus on something which is uh, which really makes you more uh, more comfort I mean, if you wanted to have a little lighter color of the mob brush, you can do that, right? Okay, so now uh, the other thing is uh, I am just below this, there is a color which is uh, um, yellow ochre. So I'm just taking this yellow ochre and uh, just below this, I'm using this color just below this particular thing. And uh, I'm just leaving for the white uh, for the uh, for this uh, window. I'm just leaving this white color, right? And uh, wherever it is required, I'm just leaving this because there is a, some wherever you wanted to leave this and you wanted to depict the thing in white, so you just leave that in a first layer itself. So it'll be easy for you to later on work on. And I, when you when you are coming down here, now see uh, there are some other color also coming in, right? So make sure that you should work in that way. So this is where there are some depthness here. If you look at the um, the reference image, 
so there is a, some deafness here so that we need to bring in up here at the same time you can just uh, I mean you can just take uh, you can work on the other side of it also the parallelly again we are taking this uh, color and uh, we are also leaving some white because there is a beautiful windows with a white color so we really wanted to capture that so a way to capture it is just leave that color here and uh, same thing here also right so you can just have that and uh, the rest of the other things will follow the same thing I'm just using this red color because that's the color it has so I'm just using this red color right here now this is the this is the thing now let's work on this uh, uh, the tree we have here right so uh, before that what we do we just need to uh, bring a little bit of uh, thing here these buildings which is quite far so we are just using a very light version of this color right lot of water in my brush and bringing a little bit of uh, so we are just working on those those thing and uh, but the whole idea is we will not we don't want to spend so much of time on these things that's the that's the goal here just an impression just to compose this painting I just made this <coughs> All right and uh, as I said we need to work on these tree so I'm just uh, using the the layering of this tree which will work on further layer right now when we are coming down we need to put a lot of depth because the the presence of light is pretty low so we need to have this depthness here in a very high degree a lot of lot of depth basically now we have done our first layer and this is the time when you, know, you should let this dry this is your very first layer let it dry and now once this get dry then we'll go in second layer See, our first layer is completely dry and this is the time where most of the magic things happens <laughs> the reason I'm just telling magic things because uh, this is the time when your paintings are uh, starting displaying its personality so uh, that's why the the second layer is something which you need to give a little more focus on um, so so starting this I just use this uh, mixing ultramarine blue and the burnt sienna and doing a little bit of uh, detailing part of it but those are uh, just an impression not much thing we are, we are we do want to overwork we just wanted to give a little bit of uh, a just very subtle work not much so now you see here the reason I'm just giving these shades here because uh, the lights are coming from this side and uh, we wanted to give a lot of prominency on this area and this side will be a darker so that's the whole set of uh, the understanding uh, we are actually building in our first layer it I mean the from the, right from the beginning itself right so 
now you see I'm, I'll be also working on a lot of uh, pigments which is uh, like uh, sometimes depth sometimes light right and uh, those things so just focus on those part how I'm just doing it just keeping in that mind we just wanted to have a very subtle patches here and there right um, so that's the that's the goal and some of the seeds may also come here like this like this some patches there is a ceiling of uh, the window ceiling so that also we can we can define it here with uh, a little darker so now even if you look at your reference image that also gives you an, a complete understanding of that so keeping that things also in your mind right and uh, there is a window but we wanted to make it a very minimal very minimal work like this just you know, some outline etc just a little bit of work here and there uh, we just need to make a sort of a dry technique uh, we just give a outline sort of thing uh, we don't want to make it too many elements it's just a few outline like this and the shades are coming from this top right so light and all that so that brings um, a very nice uh, texture or depth so all that so you can we'll be working on this side later once this get dry a little bit now let's focus on this other part of so now we have uh, just a little bit of work here i hope you are able to see and uh, there is a outline here and some bit of work here and there and now let's paint it absolutely dark this side so i'm using this ultramarine blue uh, sorry uh bansiana and uh, um, the yellow ochre and adding a little bit of ultramarine blue to make it a little darker and we can just do something like this make sure that your first layer should be visible at this moment otherwise uh, it will look very monotonous so that we don't want there is a lot of things there's a lot of um, so that the visibility the light of those elements should be visible come into this particular area this is the place where you have to give the, the name of this the billboard and we are again going to paint a little bit of uh, going to work on a little more depth here and uh, pouring a little bit of water so you'll see a nice texture developing around and uh, just going down Now this is the entrance, right? And uh, just play around with this, uh, leaving some some spaces visible, so it creates the depthness into your painting. Now jump into this uh, the 
the tree part of it. So to to create a tree, to paint a tree, I have just taken this color mixing with yellow ochre and there is a lot of dryness in my in my brush so I'm just uh, doing something like this have almost no water in my breast it's absolutely dried there's a lot of dry all over in the painting and now that's it this is the tree and we need to give a little bit of you know uh, the seeds of that the falling seeds of these tree so that has to come here yeah we have almost done this painting um, now you see like uh, th there are various other way you can uh, you can improve you can paint this uh, uh, you know in a larger scale you'll be you should be practicing this and uh, things will get you merge you know every time you will be making this uh, you will be learning this you 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 should apply these technique like we did a first layer second layer and then the third layer we just made it a little bit of depthness here and there so this is how you can just make this painting uh, which makes uh, which, which creates a lot of learning to you um, and doing such such kind of work where well, you will see like your your paintings are actually improving all the all the time but this is like a it's a continuous thing you'll have to keep working on uh, practicing such kind of uh, such kind of work you have to practice this all the time all right so with this uh, i hope uh, you 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 got something from this uh, at this uh, i'll just make this head of this and i hope you have learn something from this uh, i'll be requesting you to please practice this such kind of work so that will be really 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 help you to just paint a beautiful watercolor artwork going ahead all right so thank you so much i will be coming with a new class very soon till then take care and uh, keep keep working